Perhaps. <laughs> I've heard it before, but I'm going to research this during the for weather forecast. Well, let me know oh, what yeah. you find. All there right. You go. <laughs> Ladies <laughs> here, and, and uh, we're in March, and, and so far so good, but we're about to turn back the clock here a little bit. Yeah, because March can go one of two ways, yeah. right? It's either warm and stormy or it is cold and yeah. colder than you'd like. And we've got some cold air returning to the forecast. We've actually had a pretty pleasant start to March. No storms, just a little bit of rain here and there and some temperatures close to 60. Had a little rain out there right now. As a matter of fact, you look at Greensboro and you can see we went from sunshine to overcast skies. Those temperatures are in the 50s across the area. And we're looking at a little rain that's going to be moving in. 52 right now, Greensboro, 53 in winston -Sale. Salem and 53 in Mount Airy, 52 in North Wilkesboro. Our wind has changed direction since yesterday, so it's coming in out of the east and southeast like we had anticipated. And as a result, that's a little more of a moist flow for us. So the clouds and even a little rain. We've got patchy showers in the forecast this evening and then overnight some flurries in the mountains tomorrow morning. A little bit of sunshine. Then we're going to see kind of some clouds brisk for sure. Temperatures will be in the 30s in the morning. Those clouds that build tomorrow afternoon may bring a spotty rain shower to the triad. Some mountain snow showers will continue. And of course, we've got the gusty winds at times gusting to 40, 45 miles an hour in some of those higher elevations. The rain right now, very light, but kind of nosing into the triad. So you can see some more moderate rain along I-40 as you work your way back toward Moxville. That's kind of moving north and east. Some light rain from Kernersville up toward the lakes, Greensboro, High Point, Thomasville. Wet weather too over southern Randolph County. Now I would anticipate that this rain is a around for the next couple of hours, but I think by about 7, 8 o'clock, we're looking at this moving off to the east, and that'll be it for the rain. Then we wait for this front to bring in the cold air as well as the snow. So we've got our first storm system that's down at the south, and you can see they're dealing with flooding. All the green there, the river flooding that is taking place over the deep south. There's also been at least a couple of strong to severe thunderstorms right along this front in northern Florida. We've been really fortunate that we haven't had to deal with the thunderstorms that much so far this March. Of course, it is Severe Weather Awareness Week, so we continue to talk about that. Today, we're going to talk about lightning safety, so tune in at 530. We'll give you some details on that. Also, notice this. This is the next weather system that's bringing the snow in for the mountains. So maybe even seeing a few snow flurries overnight, down to 32 tomorrow morning in the mountains. But the wind chill value will be in the 20s because that wind is up and blowing out of the northwest. Just above freezing in the mid to upper 30s for the foothills and for the triad. Your hour by hour forecast shows you snow showers in here early tomorrow morning in the mountains continuing for part of the day and we're going to see highs tomorrow afternoon that are pretty close to 50 degrees. I think we could eke out a shower tomorrow, so there is a 20% chance for that late afternoon. West northwest winds at 15 to 30 miles an hour. We'll definitely keep it cold. High temperatures 53 tomorrow afternoon for the foothills. Probably not going to make it to 50 tomorrow. We're up to about 49. We also have that chance for a few showers around, maybe even a flurry overnight. In the mountains, we've got the cold, gusty winds. We've also got the morning snow and those temperatures in the 30s. And then we'll kind of see bursts of snow in the mountains through early Saturday. So snow showers are definitely in the forecast tomorrow. Some one to maybe two inches of snow in places like Boone. Temperatures are in the upper 30s. I don't anticipate seeing too much measurable snow in Sparta, Galax, or Hillsville, but you could definitely see some flurries. That measurable snow will likely be along the mountains. So Grayson County, yeah, a little bit of that in the westernmost communities. And then for the weekend, if you're traveling to the beach, we're pushing all of this rain off to the east and it should be out of here. Everybody across the state on Saturday will be chilly, but also a bit brisk with that wind coming in. So here's the seven day forecast. You're going to see our high on Saturday is 51. We're below freezing Saturday and Sunday mornings. Of course, we spring forward Saturday night and we're back into the 60s by next week. All right.